Well, all of us know Kapil Dev. Uh, Kapil Dev is an icon, uh, not for cricket, but for the country. You know, there are people whose fame goes beyond their specialties. If his specialty is sports or cricket, he is way beyond that. So, so, so selection uh, into the, at 24, you were already a star. Right. When all of us were, I was doing my MD that time. I'm exactly your contemporary, more or less. And all of us were doing our MD and we went nuts in 1983, seeing your performance in the World Cup. But even to get selected at a young age, pretty young age, 1978, you're already in the Indian team. So how did you make it? You broke into some kind of a little bit of a club because cricket was mainly a metro game, mainly a game of, you know, Delhi, Bombay, actually Bombay more than Delhi, Bangalore, etc. And you coming from relatively smaller uh, town and not with that kind of usual background that cricketers were. Once upon a time, they were Maharajas. Then they became like a Bombay Delhi type. So you broke that and you broke into the Indian team at a young age on the sheer basis of your performance. Would you like to tell us something about your coming into the team? I think any other kid in the country, he, uh, he when you talk about cricket, they may be living in a village or city or anywhere, you go and want to play. And uh, yes, uh, that's true. Uh, breaking a barrier is not so easy. People can't take you so easy. Uh, you come from a different background, different thinking. But uh, your performance keep on speaking for yourself. And uh, I didn't have such a uh, tough time because uh, I was only one thing I had uh, with me, which I used to say is the passion to play and enjoy myself. And second thing, what you said about million and billions of people are looking at when you're playing, you're not thinking that. Uh, I would ask the doctor when you're doing a heart operation, you're not thinking what his family is doing, thinking about you and you have a responsibility. You doing your best of your ability, you're working. Same thing happened in the cricket also. Uh, if you say there is a 50,000, 80,000 people are sitting and they are praying for me or they are cheering for you. No, at that time, the focus is very, very important. You just put blinkers and say, this is my, uh, you know, way of direction. And when you start thinking that uh, rest of the thing should not come in your mind. Today, what doctors going through, I would tell you one thing doc uh, it's a uh, you produce heroes during this period it, it's easy because uh, in 70s we used to have army people when the war take place you you say army people are, are heroes then it's politician come out then film star come out then cricketers come out uh, or athlete or sportsman comes out. Now, I think it's a new thing comes out. How good the police and the doctor can handle the situation. Out of that, few hero will come out. And that's where you have to say, yes, it can hit us also as a doctor. A problem can come to us. But the people who are ruthless and safe, they emerge as a superheroes. And that's what uh, the world is all about, that somebody can be chicken sitting at home, not doing any work. It's fine. You, you go with that because all five fingers are not the same. But some people are like that. Doesn't matter. I will go and try to serve the people. And those are the heroes you're looking for.